Frontier Developments has been a very cool developer for a very long time, and their latest park simulator is called Jurassic World Evolution. And yes, it is uh, lifting off on the insanely successful Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World franchise. I can't believe how many movies there are, and there have been plenty of games over the years. Does this one stack up? Does it really honor the license well? Uh, yeah, it does. Actually, it's uh, it's actually a very fun Jurassic experience, and the idea here is that it's not so much about just uh, you know being a dinosaur or hunting dinosaurs or being scared of the dinosaurs. It's how do you manage a park well? How do you keep the customers happy? How do you keep your dinosaurs alive and thriving? How do you genetically enhance them to uh, be able to handle all kinds of challenge and make them interesting to look at? And then you've got to create kind of arenas for people to come and watch them, and hopefully they stay penned up and don't break through their fences and go and eat your guests and some of the scientists that are milling about inside of your park. Uh, it, it's really an easy game to get into, which is, I think, something to commend Frontier for. This is a company that has done lots of uh, park simulation type experiences in the past. Recently, they did the Zoo Tycoon game. They also did the uh, the Disneyland game um, in partnership with Xbox. They've done this kind of stuff before, and they're you know adept at dealing with lots of complicated systems, and they've kind of streamlined everything here. This is really um, not so much about building everything up brick by brick. All of that stuff is kind of already made for you. You have some customizable, you know, pieces in there. You can upgrade the things so they'll cost less power or they'll cost less money to kind of operate. But you don't have that granular level of detail that you may have experienced in other park simulator games. I don't think that's much of an issue here, though, because I played this on the Xbox One. It's also out for the PS4, and I suspect it's going to be easier to play on the PC. But as as a consolized version of a theme park kind of scenario like this, it's fluid, you know, and you're not sort of dealing with cumbersome mechanics and, you know, trying to position your cursor exactly over a tiny little speck that you're trying to, you know, toggle or, or uh, you know, fix or repair or anything like that. It's very easy to navigate using the thumbsticks and, you know, selecting the items and stuff. You have a menu that's uh, constantly accessible to you on the left side of the screen and you can, you know, choose the paths that you want to create around your buildings, lay down the electrical power that you're going to need. Uh, you have some landscape options in there so you can you know grow your ground a little bit or dig in and create pools for your dinosaurs to swim in or drink from um, and of course you can drop goats in with the carnivores um, and you're trying to sort of maintain a revenue flow you're trying to keep your customers happy and then you're sent on all kinds of missions from all kinds of uh, uh, different staff members that pop up including Ian Malcolm which, which is voiced by uh, Jeff Goldblum more Jeff Goldblum in this game than in uh, Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom, by the way, which is pretty cool. And they've also got representations of Bryce Dallas Howard and uh, Chris Pratt's characters in this game as well. They're just uh, still images that pop up every once in a while. And their voice uh, narration or their voiceover acting uh, comes in various flavors of freaking out, depending on how you're doing with your dinosaur. They, of, of course, you get lots of encouraging messages when you're making lots of money and everybody is caged in and the guests are happy. Uh, and you'll get less of that when there's a huge storm happening and you've got a T-Rex running around eating everybody. It's fun, man. It's fun to watch this. It's addictive to kind of, uh, you know, see your little your little sort of train set operating. You do. You can also place down monorails, by the way. Um, and it's cool that you can take control of some of the vehicles, like jumping into a chopper and flying over all the stuff that you've placed and watching and seeing all your dinosaurs. And you can take control of the dart gun if you want to knock out your dinosaur. Uh, you can also drive the Jeeps around and those little gyro bubble things. It's it's slick. The, ga the graphics are cool. The music is absolutely... Uh, uh, appropriate and uh, evocative of all the Jurassic Park movies. I had a tough time putting the controller down. Now it is definitely a slower paced experience. You're not running from dinosaurs, but even though the pace is a little slower and a little bit more cerebral, it, it's fun. This is cool. I was very impressed and you know, I was kind of disappointed with uh, Fallen Kingdom. There's some cool bits in it, but I actually think that this is a, a better adherence to the, the, you know, the principles and the foundations of the Jurassic Park franchise. I dig this game. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10.